Welcome back, guys. On this episode, I'm going to take you to a city you probably never heard of before, Chongqing. Do you know it's the biggest city in the world by area? I fell in love with the city, and I can't wait to be back already. Hey, guys. So I am heading to Chongqing right now. It is a city in China I have never been to. Out of the four that I'm going to this time, the two that I haven't been to. What is special about this departure is that we are gonna go through a sky bridge. That is brand new in the Hong Kong airport. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. There's also a sky deck at the end. It's next to gate 12. So if you are boarding between 13, I think to 22, that's where it will, you will head to. So guys, after a very short flight, two hours only from Hong Kong, I have arrived in Chongqing. It is a city I have never been to. I'm super excited. It is supposedly the most and the biggest city in the whole entire world. I'm only spending a very, very, very short time here. I know it's not enough, trust me, guys. During these 10 days, it's gonna be one of the busiest trips I've ever, ever had. But now, uh, we are on the way to the city. It's raining pretty bad, but that is okay. Like I said in my Switzerland vlog, weather never ruins my mood and never affects the way I see a city. Maybe except London, sorry. Because <laughs> 9 out of 10 times I'm in London, the weather is gloomy. It's just my luck. I know it's always sunny for a lot of people. So anyway, cannot wait to show you Chongqing. I'll see you guys later. Arrived at the JW Marriott Chongqing. I'm only here for one night, but I do highly recommend any hotel in this area. Not only is this convenient, I always pick like Hyatt or Marriott is because it comes with like happy hour, gin and tonic. So I'll see you guys outside guys. We arrived at one of the historical landmarks here in Chongqing. It's called Kui Xin Lo. So it might just look like hospital because it is part of a hospital. That is the ER there. Uh, it's, it's been here since the 19th century. Okay, so we are on this square. So guys, think about it. Does it look like we are on like a ground floor of a plaza or something like a I think it's very interesting because Chongqing is a city that's built based on all these mountains here. So what looks like a ground floor. Are you ready? I hope I don't drop my camera. We are actually... We are actually on the 22nd floor. <laughs> it's funny, right? Because you saw the way we walked up here, and now you look at this. Now, it's a very Instagrammable bridge here because of the TV show. So, if you don't relate, that's totally fine. But look how tall. It looks like we're on the ground because all of these buildings over here were built based on the shape of the mountains. So, that means that if you're on the fifth floor of one building, that means that you can also be on the same altitude or, or height on a, like a 22nd floor building of another building, if that makes sense. Because the ground level is different. So let's say this building was built on here. And so one, two, three, four, five. And then this building, because it has a much lower ground, it could be on a 22nd floor or 21st or whatever, or even 15. So it's quite funny, like a fifth floor could be higher than the 22nd floor of another building, even though it's on the same height. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's a very unique feature of Chongqing. Just to show you, we are on the 22nd floor because there's a sign in the back. And... Okay, so how do you leave from this bridge? That two, right? The one on the left? You're gonna enter this lobby and there will be a lift that takes you down to the first floor. You just have to follow the queue. You will hit another landmark. So this is where you exit the elevator and you walk straight out. You're gonna see the river and on your left is where you're gonna see the other famous landmark. Lots of street fruit and food, watermelon. You're gonna see this paper fan all over Chongqing because it's quite famous to take pictures with um, those paper fan here. Lots of drinks. There's just a lot of food. You can't go hungry or thirsty. 
we're gonna do some of these food later but let's walk over there first Wow guys, look at this view! It's one of the country's most famous river, the Yangtze River, if not the world. Definitely one of the most famous river in the country. Wow! Wow guys, look at this! Yangtze River with all these river crews is also highly recommended. But of course, it does get quite chaotic. I don't know if you can see the crowd all the way down because people are getting in and out of the cruises. They have time, so uh, they cannot get on yet. So people are like gathering over there. Wow, guys, this is Chongxin. So we're finally here. Can you believe that the sky actually cleared up? I'm so thankful and so happy because I only have two full days in Chongqing. So if I can show you the sky. When we exit the like the pier across the street, you're gonna see the shop. They're very, very famous for this, uh, like a bread inside is meat. It has pork or beef, so you can choose. It's very good. I will come back and get it a little bit later. And this is yogurt drink or like cheese. In terms of tourist company. And of course, very famous for Hapa. Chongqing is the most famous for Hapa. Um, so famous. Crowded, crowded, guys. So we had arrived at the number one destination in Chongqing and can you tell already? Well, it is really famous. It's called Hong Ai Dong. You see this cave here, right? You would think it's just a cave, but no. Do you see there's more cave over here? Like behind the bushes and trees? There's a whole building here. It's built along inside and outside around the cave. That's why it's so famous. I think there are 11 floors. Um, so we're gonna go up and check it out. It is a very, very famous landmark, especially the night view. So guys, we are inside one of the big caves. Pretty nice, pretty nice. These are like wishes that people make and they write it on the wooden board and they put it alongside the chain. More wishes inside the cave. Pretty cool. Look! You see the smell. Wow! The waterfall is behind me. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. This is cool. And it's completely free to come up here. So if people tell you that a shortcut, don't take it because it's completely free. So guys, now we are like on the fifth floor. You see this cave here? All these, that's six more floors. That's built around it. Around this cave is like really cool, honestly. I have never seen something like this in my life. We're now on the sixth floor inside the cave. Each floor consists of different things. Restaurant shops, drink stores, souvenir shop, magnets, keychains, everything. Like it's like a shopping mall that's built around the cave. This is really, really cool. So this is like the floor map of this cave here. Well, they have all different type of shop and like food court on the fourth floor. I did definitely think it's worth it to come guys. So guys, this is the entrance to the cave. There are always lines. That's why I came from the bottom. You know, I was going to the other place that we went earlier and I know there was a shortcut. That's why I wanted to give you guys that option and show you guys that way and you guys can decide which way you want to go. Because now we're going to go to that bridge there and take some night view shots. 
Wow, this truly explains the shape <laughs> here. 11 floors of like floors around a cave. It is pretty cool, huh? And there will always be people singing around here in China. So we're gonna try to go there where you see people are to get like a night view and sunset view. Wow, it's breathtakingly beautiful. I'm so lucky. When I got here, it was raining. I thought I wouldn't see like this view and for sure I have to come back to Chongqing anyway, but um, I'm just so lucky. I feel so blessed because I didn't think I would see this view. And now I need to get a damn drink. I got the coconut. Guys, so do you know that like Chongqing is very, very famous for hapa? And I don't know if you guys know, it's one of my favorite, favorite kind of... It's not even a cuisine, it's like a, a food. Like where they give you boiling soup, spicy, like it's like a mixed flavor. You can mix it in however you want. And we put like raw meats or vegetables in there. So it will get like the soup based flavor. Chongqing is the most famous for that. So guys, you see all the people over there. They're waiting to look at the night view of the cave building that we were just at. So we're gonna go there right now. But this is a very pretty bridge. So guys, we are here now at the most famous spot that I was talking about a little bit earlier. So now everyone is on this bridge. If you can see the people behind me, in front of me, next to me, there are just like maybe like 30,000 people here just on this bridge right now and a lot more even over there by the pier where we were at earlier so people wanted to come because they want to get this view in the back so um, yeah this is the reason why it's so popular and because there's also a sunset view here as well and on the other side you will see like the other side of the night view and that is the raffles over there there's a sky deck observation deck over there that we're gonna go later and then there are all these shopping malls over here as well uh, this is the bridge that you guys recognize now people also come here because these ancient buildings reminded them of an Oscar winning Japanese animation Spirited Away we are now on the other side of the bridge because I want to take you guys to another very popular photo spot. It shouldn't be far from here. So you just keep walking on the bridge until the end. That's if you want to come take pictures. Behind me, if you can see the neon building, the red one is the opera house of uh, Chongqing. Okay, so you will get off the bridge and then you're going to see this MRT or MTR stand. and the exit one is gonna take you there. This is what it looks like, Grand Theater Station. Okay, sorry, my bad, it's not the Opera House, it's called Grand Theater. You do not have to enter the gate area. You go through this tunnel and go down here and then you turn left. All right, we're almost there. Yep. Once you get down to the escalator, you will see it. So this lady approached me. It's only 68 RMB for 10 photos without editing of course it's like 11 dollars isn't it beautiful guys it is a must you must come if you're in Chongqing already you might as well come here for this view it is beautiful so guys we're down here now so look at all these people taking photos here and you know the photographers so even if you don't like those 10 that you take you can always find another photographer to help you i think it's called qian si qiao i will find out the exact english name i have no idea cannot believe i'm this close to the yanzi river because this is the first time i'm this close actually i have been on it like you know one of those river cruises but not in Chongqing, in other parts of china because this river goes to so many parts of china Look at all these people taking photos. Highly recommend. It's free to come down. You, you don't need a photographer. You can take it with your phone, you know, with your professional camera. It's like one of the best view in the city. All right, so guys, it's now 11.15. I haven't ate yet. Inside of the 81 fruit streets, 
I'm here because、um, I heard the food is so much better here, and even the locals all recommend it. So it is a little bit further out, but、um, I think it is worth it. I'm going to the street. It's right across the streets, according to my driver. Because I was gonna go back to where the cave was, because some people told me that it was this place was like closing down because it was getting late. So they're like, oh, maybe you don't come, you go tomorrow. But then the driver said, no, there's a lot of shops are still open. So looks like this is it. I heard this is very, very good. This place for bread or、oh, dumplings. Let's see. Oh my god, it looks like dumplings. Oh, I love dumplings.、But、let me get something quick first. Down here in the food street. Oh, I always love this. So let me get that. It's like a noodle, like spicy and sour. But、um, I did. I did, I know I did say I don't can I have spicy, but I'm here already. Let's have a little bit. Okay, so I ordered that already. Now I'm gonna take it to go and.、Uh, Oh, this is also very famous. This rice. Wow, my mom would love this soup dumplings. Oh, yum yum yum. Thank you. Wow. Let me see what else is open. Oh, let me try this one. I don't know what it is. So I, I just ordered. Oh my god, an oyster! I should have ordered that instead. Let me take the other thing to go. Okay, so I just asked for that to go, and I'm gonna get oyster. Oh my god, I even want this. Potatoes. Oh my god, I need to get this. This is my favorite. Wow. Oyster, oyster. From the ocean to to your mouth, as fast as 24 hours. That's what it means. Oh my god. Oh my god! I want everything, guys. So my mistake was ordering too fast because now I have a lot of food and、um, I need to take it back to the hotel and let me pick up the other one. But what I really, really want right now is the oysters and baked clams. So yum, yum, yum! Ah, 谢谢谢谢 Another one. Wow, dessert too. Wow, cheese durian cheese pizza bread. Oh my god, they have everything. Oh my god, this is my favorite. Everything is my favorite. So while we're waiting for the oysters, I'm gonna try the other two things that I got. Let me show you guys. This is the pork, spicy pork. And then this is the noodle. They're famous for that as well. Sour and spicy noodle. And like doing everything, I have to wipe my hands. All right, let's try it. Oh, it, it really has a kick to it. I love it. Probably shouldn't be having this right now. Mmm. Cool. And if I think it is spicy, it's pretty spicy. So now trying the spicy sour noodle. Mmm, so good. It's, it, you can pick your noodles, by the way. The sauce is the same. You can pick extra spicy, less spicy, or whatsoever. So this noodle is so famous that it, I mean, aside from being from Chongqing, it's all over the world. Anywhere that you go that has Chinese, you will find this noodle. Sour, spicy together. It's got some numbness to it. So good. I just wish I can finish it because my throat is not gonna take it. Mmm. I don't wanna lose my voice and not be able to film when I get to Terracotta, you know, in Xi'an. So oyster and scallops arrived. Scallops. With rice noodle and oysters, guys. All of this for thirty-eight RMB. Thirty-eight RMB is like six fifty US dollars. It's crazy. Six fifty for all of this. Oh my god. Let's try this. It's freshly made just now, and the oyster looks so fresh. 
It is so good, guys. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so creamy and it just went straight down. Wow, these are special oysters. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed. Oh my god. Even just this is worth it to come. So if you guys like oyster, you must come here. I'll just ask them where the oyster is from. It's from Santong. Okay, now let's try the scallop with noodle and garlic. So if you guys like seafood, um, can I say stand? It's worth it. Mm. Mm. Hi guys. So we had arrived in my hotel room here in Chongqing. Let me show you guys. Now I'm really gonna try to do a detailed room tour because I've had many people told me my room tour are way too fast. So upon entering, there's a closet. <laughs> And then you will enter the living room, coffee machine, lots of water, mini bar and fridge is here, I'm assuming, yep. Um, this is the city view. Wow, they really have a lot of buildings, even coming from Hong Kong and that I lived in New York for 20 years. This is still a lot of buildings to me. So now that's the living room. Now more city view. Chongqing, aside from uh, buildings, they are also known to have many, many bridges. There are just so many so bridges because it's built ba based on the mountains, like the location of the mountains. Powder room. Okay, guys, I guess more detail. Not just a powder room, right? Here is the bedroom. All right, guys. So I guess I already saw the closet. <laughs> Mm. On sweet bathroom with the bathtub. Arrived at the executive lounge. We have a bar here, a snooker table with a mini one for the kids, and I think Chinese chess right there. You will have like fruits, salad bar, of course, coffee is normal, and then you will get hot dishes, um, okay, fried rice, spaghetti, veggies. What is this? Fish ball with potatoes. That's so funny. Kung Pao chicken. Nice. Chicken skewers. Baked egg. And fried sesame ball. And then this western soup. It looks like mushroom. Chinese soup. Looks like winter melon with pork or chicken. Cheeses. A little bit of pastries um, over here. And that's why I do come to the lounge. Even I am going to eat dinner for sure. On the next episode, I'm gonna take you to the other four landmarks of Chongqing. Comment below on where else you would like me to go and I will see you guys next week. Thank you again for watching.